guys so today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a seafood boil we have um two red potatoes i have four corn i have two king crabs i have two snow clusters and i have almost a half a pound of shrimp now the seasonings that we are going to use today are the prima donna soul food seasoning prima donna lemon pepper prima donna seafood of course a little bit of prima donna adobo, prima, I'm sorry, some crushed pepper, prima donna paprika, and of course the prima donna garlic pepper. We can't forget about what we're going to use, which is the important key of the recipe. We will be using the prima donna pressure cooker today. And you guys, I'm just, I just cleaned my pot. I'm about to stick it in here, but we will be using the Prima Donna pressure cooker today. And we're going to do the quick steam um, of, oh, I'm sorry. And we are going to be using some garlic. I'm sorry. So yeah. All right, you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our butter. We are going to add two sticks of butter because we are making enough to feed um, three people, two adults, one kid. So it's up to you guys. You can just double um, the recipe, but we're going to use two sticks of butter. We're going to add two sticks of butter first. That will be the first thing that we, we do. It's a lemon or lime juice. Um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add two tablespoons of garlic. Depending on how garlicky you like your stuff. I'll do two and a half. Everybody don't like garlic like that. So it comes up to you. After we do the minced garlic, then we're gonna go ahead, we're going to add some lemon juice. A lot of people like to add lime juice. Um, but I like to add lemon juice and then I like to take a fresh lime and I like to squeeze it and get the juice in there so we can get, squeeze the lime so we can get the lime flavor in there as well. So you're gonna squeeze it and get all that juice in there, okay? We're going to let this saute simmer for four to five minutes, okay? And again, you're going to have it on medium. And make sure when you squeeze that lime, get all that juice out, baby. Get it out. Get that juice out. All right? Don't, don't play with your lime. So we're going to let that simmer for five minutes. And we're going to come back and we'll check that. All 
Okay, you guys. So first thing we're gonna add is the premium on the seafood season. Now we're gonna season it. Um, and you guys can always, once you're done, you can taste, um, put your finger and taste it for um, taste. So we're gonna add some cream on seafood seasoning. We're gonna add some cream on the lemon pepper seasoning. And look, mine's is gone because I love my lemon pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of the cream on the garlic pepper seasoning. We're going to add the prima donna creole seasoning and you don't want to go too heavy but you want to make sure you have enough now with the creole seasoning the th reason why i added this is because our creole seasoning actually has all of the ingredients that we're going to need it has the black pepper it has the garlic pepper it has your onion powder it has your cayenne pepper it has your salt and it has the paprika so we're still going to add a little bit of paprika but we wouldn't go as heavy because we've already added the Creole seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and moderately add a little bit of paprika, just like that. The cream on the paprika, because we have a very good smoking Cajun. Now, I wish you guys was here because once you're adding all of these spices, you can smell it, you guys. Like, you can smell the aroma. You can smell it, and it smells so amazing and so good so i just wish y'all was right here to smell it and if you look you see all of those um beautiful mint scarlet okay now what you want to make sure is once you're done you want to just make sure that your boil sauce is um a little dark so our paprika won't hurt it okay we're gonna leave that here and then we're going to allow this to simmer. Look how beautiful it is, you guys. Oh, you can smell it. And at this point, you want to taste to see if you would like to add more or less of something. It's totally and completely up to you. Um, yeah, it's totally up to you. I like to do... I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon, just a teaspoon of brown sugar because I feel like that gives it that extra kick. Just a teaspoon. You don't need a whole lot. You can substitute um, the brown sugar for the white um, or you don't have to add the sugar at all. I just do that so it doesn't have a tart um, flavor. Now, to kick this up, if you do like spice, I would recommend that... You use some of our soul seasoning, just a little bit, a teaspoon, if you're looking for that that spiciness. Now, we also can use a little bit of crushed red peppers. If you look here, you see I have a little bit, a little bit of crushed red. So, look here, you see I have a little bit of crushed red peppers, just a little bit. I'm not going to even use all of this. That's for my spicy lovers. If you like it, it's totally optional. Because all of the seasonings we use today technically have the cayenne pepper, have the crushed pepper. So, you guys, you want to make sure you have your prima donna spices line right here. Okay? You want to make sure you have that. And the Creole. So, our Creole is really like a Cajun season. Now, once we're done, we want to go ahead and we're going to take this and we're going to put this on extremely low. I want you to put it on low. And you're going to put a lid on it. All right, so we got that on low and we're going to put our lid over it. And we're going to allow that to cook for eight minutes, okay? And yeah, that's your sauce. That's your boil sauce. It's not as complicated as people like to make the shit seem. So, yeah. It's real easier when you're using our prima donna products, actually. <laughs> that's just the moral of the story. 
All right, guys, first thing you want to do to your pressure cooker is you want to go ahead and you want to add two cups of water. I'm going to select the steam function and I'm going to allow it to do four minutes. Once you add your two cups of water, you want to go ahead and start putting your ingredients. We're going to be doing seafood boil. All right, um, hope you guys can see that I'm trying. Okay, so um, now this part is really simple, really easy. That's why I love the Primanata pressure cooker because it really is very, very easy. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to throw in our snack, um, crab clusters. We have two snow crabs. We wanna go ahead and put those to the bottom. We have six pieces of corn and I'll shrimp on top just because the shrimp does cook really really fast and I'm cooking a lot of shrimp then we're gonna add two more pieces of corn all right can't forget we're not going to use our eggs until it's done there's no need to stick it in now. All right, you guys, once we have everything in there, we're going to go ahead and add our sausages to the top. We're going to put them on top with the shrimp. And then we are going to place the lid on the pressure cooker. Make sure it's securely locked. We're going to select our function, which will be steaming. And we're going to steam it on the amount of time, which is normal. Now, if you are doing your um, seafood. All right, you guys. So we are going to open our pot and it smells amazing. Amazing. Now, I've already cut in mine's off, but yours should still be on. And if you can see, you can see all those chunks. And don't forget, um, you guys, I add minced garlic. And also, don't forget to add a piece of garlic clove for the chunks, if you like that in there. I did add that. I'm sorry I didn't film that part. And it smells amazing. It looks and it smells amazing. And this is how you have your perfect seafood boil sauce. Now, you have two different ways. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The food done. The pot has cooled down. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open it. Wow. Wow, it smells amazing. Looks amazing. I want you, want you guys to get into this because it smells and it looks amazing amazing i mean the steam is in the way but wow you guys look at those prawns perfect so we we can do this one of two ways we could transfer it to a a pan serving dish or we can do it with the bags now um i'm going to show you guys we're going to do them both ways because we did the sauce so amazing you guys I have just sitting there wow and we're gonna go ahead and add our sauce to our bag okay and you want to make sure you dig to the bottom so you can make sure you get of course all of the seasonings okay now I'm going to do two different things because we are um, preparing this. So we're going to go ahead and here you go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw the crab in the bag. And you wanna make sure the sauce is cool once you start doing this. We're gonna throw some shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and throw a potato in there. And that potato is nice and done. That's what I love about the pressure cooker. We're gonna go ahead and throw a king crab in there. Now right, you guys, so we're gonna pull the sauce over it. And you're done, you guys.